What's going on YouTube fam? Maximo Rides here. I figured I'd give you guys a quick walk around of the bike and everything that I've done so far. I have received a couple of questions as to what I've done, what the modifications are. And uh, I'll start really quickly here with the exhaust system. I've got a DND Bobcat 2 into one I got it with the carbon fiber canister. Sounds absolutely amazing. Build quality exhaust is really, really great. I've also got the Alloy Art frame stabilizer see that right there the frame stabilizer I, I, I have nothing negative to say about it though the, it works really really beautifully I've actually got about 10,000 miles on that frame stabilizer on this bike and on my previous road glide I've got about 7,000 miles and you can see how evenly the tire see how evenly my tire has worn out I, I have no cupping as your typical um, Harley Touring frame has that severe cupping that you get in the rear tire I don't have that um, I've also got all in suspension front and rear and with the rear suspension I went ahead and got the Corral's one inch extension blocks here you can see them the it'd be that that piece right there so it gives you you can uh, gives you a, a decent decently increased uh, height there. You can see my entire axle, um, the bolt that holds on the rear suspension, and you can see a lot of that back tire, that rim. So it, de it definitely added a significant amount of height. Moving along here, my front suspension, as I was saying, is Olin's. They are the Nix 22 cartridges. My handlebar setup is Thrash and Supply pullback plate, a Harley Davidson top clamp, and a Drag Specialties 5.5 inch riser. I have the Power Vision and aside from that, the LaPera seat. I got a LaPera Daytona 2 up seat with the rider backrest. And that's that's what I've done so far to the bike. Um, the goal with the bike is just to have something that that's quick on its feet. Uh, eventually, I would like to go with a stage two. I have not done any internal work to the engine. Um, no power outers, uh, obviously, aside from the exhaust and the tune. Uh, another thing that I have done is with these wind deflectors here. As you can see, there's one on this side here, and I've removed the other one. Um, primarily because you have to to use the stabilizer but it has the added benefit that it shoves the it, it forces the air to come this way and it helps cool down your rear cylinder and it works out really really well i've seen a temperature difference of about 15 or 20 degrees um, so that actually works out pretty well for if you have them a free modification i guess but overall um just wanted to show you my bike what I've done so far, uh, future videos, um, I'll be going in depth into my suspension, um, possibly changing my seat, 
and my suspension settings. I'll go further in depth into the modifications, um, my, sus my suspension settings and um, all of that for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and everybody that's watched so far. I really appreciate appreciate the comments, appreciate the views, and definitely appreciate the subscriptions. Um, can't thank you guys enough. Until next time.